If your sole reason for coming to this video was to find the link for the leaked episode, it's down in the information. I'm not going to force you to watch this video. Oh, hey, look, you decided to stay. How wonderful. Now, I just have to warn you, if you have not watched season one through five of Dexter, this video is chock full of spoilers, so you might want to stop it right now. Now, a few months ago, my friend and I were talking about Dexter, how excited we were for the new season, and he mentioned a list. A list of reasons on why Dexter, America's favorite serial killer, should have been caught by now. Now, this intrigued me, and I recently went and looked up the list, and I, I read through it, and I thought, okay, you know, some of these make sense, but the more I read, I realized the list was pretty flawed. Like, a lot of the reasons didn't hold any weight. So this video is my response to the list of reasons why Dexter should have been caught. The list will henceforth be referenced as they. Right off the bat, they talk about Dexter's purchase history, saying that no sane man goes to the store and buys big sheets of plastic or power tools like that and then goes back and buys more. But what they have to realize is that these tools and items are the same purchases that somebody who doing a lot of home renovations would buy. If he sold himself as somebody who works in construction, Nobody's gonna care. They talk about DNA evidence and how in CSI, people's DNA just shows up everywhere. Even the coat of Harry isn't going to protect him from getting hair follicles or skin samples somewhere. But what they don't realize is that they have the staff cross-referenced with fingerprints and DNA to find the real killer. I mean, if Dexter's hair turned up in some location, as long as he worked in that area, there is a valid reason. Even if he was off duty and some lackey went and did the whole blood splatter thing without Dex being there, if they found Dex's hair follicle, he could just spin the excuse that uh, hair showed up on somebody's shoe and they brought it to the site. Everybody's gonna buy that. They go on to say that his friends are investigators, which means that they should have a honed sense of who's a serial killer and what to look out for and everything. And I'll forgive that. I will not forgive them calling Deb an idiot. Deb is not an idiot. She has her moments, but she's one of the smartest people on the show. But look how little it took for them to believe that Dokes was the Bay Harbor Butcher. Nobody really wanted to accept that, but they did, and Maria still walks around like la 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 la. Like she doesn't want to hear that one of her close friends was a murderer. That's not going to be a thought in their head, even if Dex is acting irrational. But if somebody was to question Dex, he would either discredit everything that they're saying, or as with Dokes, frame and then kill them. He's good at what he does. Now, they go on to say that the code of Harry is flawed and that Harry should have gotten Dex counseling when he was way younger to try to prevent the whole dark passenger thing. And to a sense, I agree. That was just poor parenting on his part. But he did kind of steer Dex toward the right way of killing bad people. I mean, you have to give him that. They talk about Dex's association with known killers and how that should tie him into all these unexplainable red flaggable situations. But Everybody from Miami Metro PD had contact with these serial killers. Miguel Prado, Arthur Mitchell, James Dokes, everybody at Miami Metro knew James. Maria even had a romantic connection with Miguel. I mean, this could all be seen as coincidence. They talk about how Lumen is a loose end and she's out there and she could tell anybody or come back and blow the Dexter thing wide open, but I don't think that's going to happen because she has a lot more to lose than Dexter does. And in a knife and plastic fight, my bet's on Dexter. She's not going to want to fight him, even if she really does have the strong desire to out him, which she won't. Okay, the Miguel storyline. That entire season was so crazy, such a roller coaster ride that, oh my goodness, Dex, you are getting sloppy and you need to be careful because this is one of the few things on the list that I completely agree with. Miguel Prado, super high profile. You, you trust him with these secrets, and he's still trying to manipulate you, and that's just dangerous because you know you have to kill him, and then it's just that with killing Miguel's brother, didn't, didn't Dex leave like a tooth there or something? I don't know how that loose end was tied up. And then pummeling that guy in the bathroom when he realized how much he loved Rita, that was just a big loose end, and I am amazed that he made it out of that season alive quite honestly. What bothers me is that he keeps doing stuff like that, like having Arthur as a friend and having Lumen as a protege. Come on, Dex. Don't, don't be so sloppy. Okay, suspicious trash bags. This one, 
I completely agree with. Somewhere in the series they talked about how they had video cameras at the dock where Dex keeps his boat and he leaves with trash bags, comes back with nothing, so either he's littering or he's dropping dead bodies. And I really don't know why they just brushed that off. I mean, if they have video footage of him leaving with body-sized, heavy-duty plastic bags and coming back with nothing, that's a huge red flag. He, he, he should have gotten caught already with that. Okay, Leela West, we don't know what happened to the body. Dex went over to France, killed Leela, came back. Uh, we don't know if he dumped her in the river, or if he left her body to be found by French authorities. We know he didn't bring it back through customs, so if French authorities found it, but like I said, we don't know what happened to the body, I don't think that's an issue. And the final reason is that Dex should have been caught because the series needs to end before the plot wears too thin, and I agree. Given how many close calls he's had, I think it's about time that he gets caught or something major happens, but you have to remember that as a, at a realistic standpoint, he's been doing this since he was a teenager, so unless he just keeps tripping up like he has been, I don't think he's gonna get caught for a while. I, I love the show, but for the show's sake, before the plot wears too thin, or before it gets boring, or before it gets predictable, or before it gets too crazy unbelievable, I think Dex should be caught, if not this season, the next season. But when they do end it, they better do it perfect. The way that I see it is that Deb has to be the one to find out and Deb has to kill Dex, either because he's begging or because he's doing something horrendous. Dex can't be caught, but he, and he would probably want to put an end to the whole dark passenger thing and have his son be raised in a more safe environment, raised possibly by Deb. I think that would be a nice little tie-off, depending on how they kill him. So if you've watched this entire video, I really, really hope that you're a fan of Dexter and I want you to leave your favorite season in the comments. My favorite season was the one with John Lithgow. Oh my God, John Lithgow plays such a creepy, amazing bad guy. The twists and the turns and the self-realizations, oh my God, I love that season so much. But I'm gonna go edit this video and then I'm gonna go read. I will see you guys later, bye. And if you're gonna be criticizing a show for lack of realism, you shouldn't be citing CSI. What do you mean there's something on my face?